Hey, it's Mark, RPM Test Lab for Market Accessories. We've got a brand new product for the Model 3 and soon for the Model Y. This is ABS Plastic T Logo Caps. Now look at how easy these go on. These are simply caps that go right on over the chrome tees. We have the arch and the base. They simply go on just like this. So this is a good after picture. And then of course a before picture would be in chrome. Uh, we're going to simply install these for you, show how easy they go on. It's super, super simple. All we're going to need to do is first clean off the chrome. On the back, we have 3M VHB double-sided tape. This is going to do all the magic. It's going to bond to the chrome. This is, of course, flat black. This is a flat carbon fiber. And, of course, we have trunks and frunks. Of course, everyone knows the front trunk is flat. So the actual emblem is completely flat, but the trunks are curved or arced. So these fit on the back of the tailgate. And also we want to talk about the arches. So the arches on the front of the vehicle are the same size as the back. And the backs are the same size as the front on the Model 3. On the Model Y, it's a little different. Uh, Model Y tailgates back here are much larger, so they're not the same size. So anyway, let's talk about what these are. So this, first of all, this matte black T cap or T logo cap is of course plastic injection molded and painted flat black or satin black. And on the back of each one, you're gonna find that we have already installed double-sided tape. So we have 3M VHB super thin double-sided tape 9448A, which will ensure a strong bond so they won't come off. Now all you have to do is make sure you clean it good and prep it good, but they simply go right on over the tees. So of course, this is a front tee and this is a front tee. So I'm gonna take the front tee and the carbon fiber printed version. Now again, these are all made out of ABS plastic and uh, they're either painted or printed. This is a printed carbon fiber look where the material has a 45 degree angle and it is printed on top. All you're gonna need for this is a little bit of rubbing alcohol and wipe it all off, let it dry. Then we're going to install the T right on top by simply removing the double-sided tape or the tape liner from the back, placing it right down over the chrome T and applying pressure. So you need pressure. This is pressure sensitive adhesive double-sided tape. Once you apply pressure, it bonds and it fits absolutely flush with the paint of your car. So that's the most important thing. Everybody wants them to look original and um, completely non-aftermarket. So this is a great way to finish a chrome delete. All the Model 3s are still going to have chrome tees, even when they're chrome deleted by Tesla. So this will be a product for the finish your chrome delete page uh, project. So anyway, just pull the double-sided liner off the back, place it right over the tee, push down on the lobes and slide your finger down. I mean, that's it. Now, we recommend a couple of precautions. We recommend that you use a microfiber towel to add pressure. Now, this pressure is gonna help the pressure sensitive adhesive tape bond to the chrome. And it's only gonna bond if you've got it clean. So you've gotta clean it up really good. You gotta put pressure on it. And now, if you're gonna drive your car, we don't want wind resistance on it. So we recommend putting some painter's tape on. Now the painter's tape is required for three days, 72 hours. This is how long 3M has told us over and over again about how long you need to leave this on the car so it will fully bond to the chrome T underneath. So wind resistance wise, this is a good idea. Run the tape the long way and then one across the base. Just leave it on here for three days. And then if you ever want to take it off in the future, you just use a hair dryer or a heat gun, warm it up, and it'll pull right off.
but you need this double-sided tape to bond to the chrome. That's it. We're going to take some pictures after we're done. We're going to uh, continue to test it, and this will be on the website soon. Shipping Model 3. It's a two-piece, front and back, arched piece for the back. Model Y will be coming out in later November. Thanks again. Now, and you've got this coated with double-sided tape. We suggest you hook it on to the top like this while it's away from the car and push it down and apply pressure. And this is gonna make contact between the 3M VHB tape and the chrome. So you get a nice look. You wanna make sure you're all the way down so you don't get near the top arch. So we'll show you that in HD here. Same thing on the top piece. Just pull the double-sided backing tape coating. So the white piece here is a layer or a coating that is just preventing it from sticking to anything until you pull it off. Okay, so now for the arch, same thing. Start on one side, hook it over the edge, push it all the way, and that way it ensures you got a perfect fit. Push it down, you'll feel the tape grabbing immediately. Now, uh, we do recommend that you put a little bit of painter's tape on this on the uh, across here and across here on the front and back, especially the front of the car where wind could interfere with it. So that's it, it looks great. Let's go do the front tee so we can show you how easy that one is on the flat hood.